can't play an ACBL one because we're a little bit worried about cheating because I am doing this live. So uh, let's play an instant tournament. And uh, I haven't really played bridge in the last four or five days, so you're going to have to give me a hand or two to warm up. But here we have a random 14 count. Pretty good, aces and kings, but it's still 4 triple 3. Not seriously close to upgrading this to a 15 to 17 no trump. Um, well, I'm a little bit conflicted here. I do have three. I do have four spades and a good hand, but I think three spades here tends to show a better hand. Like I would expect. Um, I wouldn't take this description literally, 15 to 17 points. It's more like I would always bid three spades here if I had a real opening hand with four spades and short hearts, even if it was like a 12 count. Um, even if it was an 11 count, maybe it was a, even if it was like a 4, 6, 10 count. Um, but here, uh, I might even be willing to bid three spades if I had three little hearts, but I don't. Uh, this king third is pretty ugly, so I think I'm, we're going to pass and see what happens. If, if partner can't bid anything, we, we're probably just going to defend. Well, partner thinks he has a good hand and he wants to... Partner has a good hand. Um, we're playing match points, so I'm thinking very briefly about passing, but I, I do, that seems wrong with four spades. Yeah, opposite short hearts. It's really hanging partner, so I'm just going to make the normal bid here. Okay. Probably we're going to looking we were probably going to look forward to doubling four hearts if he had passed, but anyway, this is okay. Um so the first thing I observe is that if hearts are 3-2 and I rough let's see. I would have to rough all three hearts in dummy because I can't rough if I rough two hearts I can pitch a heart in a club on the diamonds, but I can't draw trumps. So I'm going to lose a heart anyway. Hmm. Our alternative line is to duck this spade. And see what happens. So I kind of like that line. Seems right. Okay. So it's very risky here to just assume that he underled the Ace of Hearts. Especially when... I'm looking pretty good if I just rough this. So that seems right. Um, my plan now is to just bank that spades are 3-2. I mean, they might not be. Uh, they really might not be because he kind of passed and then decided to bid again. So I'm a little paranoid about that. I just don't know if I can play around it. But I'm a little scared that spades are 4-1. Because when people bid this way, it's even if a robot bids this way, it's often because he thinks his hand got better. But, uh, I mean, I have a claim if spades are 3-2, if I just play a spade to the ace, I have the rest of the tricks, except for the uh, spade loser, because I can pitch our losing heart and losing club and rough a heart. So I'm just thinking about my options here. I think it's too tempting to pass up. Okay, so he had king, queen, jack, fourth of spades. So that's a very bad sign. Um, I see nothing better here. Oh, so now, if the, we could rough a heart and just see how many, just see what happens. We would have no chance of we would have no serious chance of making this I guess we need him to have three diamonds it's pretty much impossible but there's nothing better to do so uh, in retrospect it would have been more successful to just duck the heart possibly I think it might end up being the same Uh, 
Uh, maybe this was always the same. Let's see, if he had roughed, it seemed like if he had roughed, he could have just taken three spades and hearts. So I'm not really sure why this happened. Uh, I'm just, just going to check and see if I missed something. It looked like if he just roughed, I was down. But again, I haven't played bridge for a couple days. Yeah, all he had to do was rough the diamond. Alright, pretty strange. Gib usually doesn't really make big mistakes like that. Here, uh, pretty normal spade opener. Pretty normal four spade bid. We don't not really have any slam ambition. Uh, this is mildly interesting. So we're definitely pretty sure they're not making five clubs. And the question is whether or not we're making five spades. And it is match points at him, so I would probably just double and uh, see what happens, because I'm afraid to go minus. But here, um, plus 500 is not very good at all if we can go plus 650. Whereas at him, so it wouldn't matter so much. So let's just construct some hands, and let's assume that they have a bunch of clubs. Our partner has, like, he said he had 7 to 10 points, so if he has the Queen of Spades, Ace of Hearts, some other Red Sioux card. Probably down, opposite that kind of hand. Uh, if he has, like, long and pretty good diamonds, like Ace, Jack, Fit the Diamonds, a Queen of Spades, and a Heart card, uh, still not a sure thing at all. So I'm going to double. Um... Uh, the only reason I was a little bit more hesitant than usual is that Gib tends to have very good hands when they bid like this, hands like this. So, uh, the Jack of Diamonds, wait. Well, I bid in. Let's just see what happens. He ducked the diamond and we know he has the ace. Strange. Well, I see no downside in cashing one spade. Just checking in chat. Okay, he had the ace. He was missing the queen of clubs, so he has pretty good hearts probably, but I mean, not not much going on in this hand. Queen to the ace, I see. So he had one heart and this is just the end. Okay, down one is kind of what I expected. Um, looks like we had no, we weren't even close to making five spades. Four spades on a heart lead is hopeless, and on any lead it's pretty hopeless. So, good. For whatever it's worth, I don't really blame this guy. Seems like a pretty normal five club bit to me. Just caught his partner with the wrong hand. Too much outside of clubs. Even then, he wasn't so far off from making it. Just move a diamond to a heart, and it's on a working finesse. Uh, here we have 22. Good suit, or a long suit. Not a great suit, but it's still 22 with a six-card suit. So let's go ahead and do the normal thing. Don't really see a downside in showing our second suit. Okay, that will end the option. Mm. So we have uh, entry issues here. Pretty serious entry issues. Hmm. This is also a little bit of an overbid. He has no points in our suits. But, all right, it's not so bad. Just mulling over my options here. So if clubs come in for five tricks, which is a huge if, because we have to overtake the second round, we were, we'd be up to 10 top tricks, five clubs, two spades, a heart, and two diamonds. And in order to cash the spades, we'd have to lose our stopper in spades, so to speak. So that's pretty bad. Um, one thing I'm vaguely considering doing is winning in dummy and playing a low heart off. 
It's obviously not a good technical play, but West might be scared with a holding like king and one. Um, and if he has queen and one, there's nothing he can do about it. I guess with king and one, it would be good. Yeah, so if they have honor doubleton, we should do that. Or if they have like the 10 and don't hop up with the 10, like from 10 and one. Which would be a difficult play. Maybe not for a robot, but for a human it would certainly be a hard play to hop up with the 10 from 10 and 1, although we might misguess later anyway. Um, anyway, let's just win this club and see what happens. 2, King, 8. <clears throat> This is uh, pretty uncomfortable. I think our best shot here is to just play a low heart off the dummy right now while the hands aren't severed. Um, maybe we want to unblock spades first. Yeah, let's uh, unblock spades and just play a low heart off. Not incredibly optimistic. Okay, he did pop with the queen. Um, I mean, if he had popped with the king, I would just think he probably had king in one. But popping with the queen is a hard hope is a hard play from queen and one, so I'm thinking they're both offside. But let's see. Queen and the ten. Alright, I'm not feeling great about my chances here. All right. So the question now here is, do we play the ace? Because um, the only way the jack wins is if he had queen and one. Singleton queen, we don't care that much about because we're gonna have to give up a heart anyway. So is it king queen doubleton or queen and one? I think king queen double, I think it's neither to be honest. I'm just gonna play the ace. Okay, it was neither. This time it's doing us no good. All right, we have a claim now. We can just pitch the jack of diamonds on the jack of clubs. Not great. Uh, random 12. Um, some people subscribe to the roll of 15 and fourth seat pretty religiously. And I'm thinking about doing that on this hand. Um, but my rule is, uh, I use the rule of 15 and fourth seat. I'm sorry, if you don't know the rule of 15, you add your number of points to your number of spades and you open if it's 15 or greater. The theory being that when you have spades, there's a bigger upside in competing because you have the you have a reasonable expectation of being able to compete in the boss suit. Here, we have a pretty crummy 12, but it's a hand I would normally open, but it's also a hand I would normally open and not feel great about. So, uh, let's just open. Okay. Well, I don't know how I feel about this yet. The deuce of hearts lead. So um, if it's fourth best, they're at 4-4, four, four, maybe they're 3-5. But 4-4 four, four is certainly the most likely. Uh, the three return sort of confirms. Uh, that they're 4-4. Four, four. So what do we have here? If we take three diamonds, we're looking okay. And uh, setting up clubs is probably too slow. And we want to be leading away from the dummy. So uh, let's just play a diamond. Thinking about playing the ace first versus playing low. Um, I think the ace first is fine. There is, There are a couple holdings where playing low first is better. For example, like him having single to nine. But uh, this is fine. We want dummy entries in general. So, uh, Let's 
keep it flexible. So now we have two entries to dummy if we want them. While we're there, let's play a club up towards our hand. Thinking about ducking this club. Let's see. This guy's shown up with uh, the Jack of Diamonds. I think he had the Jack of Hearts. Wasn't even really paying attention. He had the King of Hearts, King of Diamonds, Jack of Clubs. So, uh... There is room for the Ace of Spades to be in either hand, I think. Okay, so they're just going to get their spade. All right, random 12 count. Looks like it's worth an opening bid. Uh, one thing we could think about doing is pass. In fact, I think I'm going to here. We're opposite of pass, Dan, and we don't really think game can make. OK. King of clubs lead from a passed hand, so that kind of jumps out at me. We're expecting uh, the Ace King to be here and other honors to be here. But for now, let's just see what happens. This guy did not high low. Um, here, there's no incentive to play in the Jack. And the 9 might be good if he has the 10, although I sort of doubt it. Uh, so we have two spade losers, and I'm thinking about playing a club now and dumping a spade. Do I have any alternatives to that? Let's see what happens. Um, so the Ace of Hearts is very likely, almost certainly here, so I think we can uh, play a heart to the king. Because he can't really, that he can play the Ace if he wants to, but it's probably at the, it might be at the cost of a trick. If he plays the Ace, we don't mind so much at all. So I like this. He can rough this, hopefully, with the ace, but if it's not the ace, oh well. Might be the ace. It could be ace-jack also. Not sure there's a huge downside to playing a spade here. He pitched his spade. Um, if he plays a spade and they play hard heart, that's fine with me. Diamonds first. There's no real reason to do that. So, alright. Oh, maybe that was a reason. I thought the king queen was here. I don't know why. That might have been a thoughtless play. Yeah, I think that was a misplay. That was a little bit careless. I think uh, I think I just had to rough a diamond first. Let's see if I had roughed a diamond first. Yeah, 
Yeah. If I had rough the diamond first, ace king rough. No, actually, it's kind of the same. Alright. 15 count. They have the majors, I think. Strangely, I think Gib also plays double here as majors. I don't really know what the difference is. Um, I don't think we really have anything to say. Uh, we're thinking about making a takeout double here. It's kind of sick. We are non vol the 17 count, but... And I don't love defending two of a major at match points, but it's pretty disgusting. Hmm, it's pretty gross. Yeah, it's too gross. The art ball, maybe, maybe the, on a bad day, they'll be down two or something. All right, with this hand, maybe we should have bid. I don't know yet. Looks like we might have missed a club bit that was breaking badly. No reason to play the queen there. Um... False card here. Pretty sure this is single and jack. Because uh, our partner played low. So. Tapping the dummy seems okay. Uh, if we exit passively, the danger is that it'll set up hearts and then still have an entry. So let's just tap the dummy. Okay, so he is scared of the tap. I guess this does not necessarily mean we should play more than the because if he has the queen, could be bad to play more clubs. Hmm. Okay, well, let's just go for it. Might have just set up his whole suit for him. Uh oh. My partner played low from 5 deuce doubleton. Not a success. What's going on here? He roughed high to rough this low. I see. So I guess we have the rest. Okay, that worked out fine. Uh, 19 count, not really a good reason to open this two. No, it's good honors, but no long suit, no spots. We'll just do the normal thing. Um, in my experience, Gib just won't let you play three no ever on this. Uh, we have two with the queen. Let's go ahead and show that. Oh, no, sorry. I uh, blanked out. We have three. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and show that. Do we have the queen? We do not. Okay. Um, so the greediest play here is to cash all three diamonds, pitch in the spades, and take a heart finesse. The slightly less greedy line here would be to play his king of hearts before doing it. I can't really see the diamonds not breaking. At least 6-3 uh, on average. So uh, let's go for the uh, maximum greed. Uh, the 10 here is a pretty, pretty common false card from 10 doubleton to try to encourage you to drop the queen. Uh, it's a total disaster if it's a stiff 10, though, for us to play the ace. So let's just go ahead. All right, so we're going to lose our... Oh, whatever. All right, we have a 15 count, but it started a diamond pass a heart, and I'm really not comfortable with bidding here. Uh... That's about all there is. Bidding a no trump here would technically sort of be in range, but it's pretty gross with a hand that's this bad. Kind of happy just to defend. All right, 
so our best suit is clubs, so we should lead a club. No real reason not to. Um, and low is probably right. Fourth best. All right, so the 10 held, which means our partner has jack 10. He switches to the queen of hearts. Knowing that the club suit is very promising because the is 10 held and he had at most jack 10, has decided to switch to hearts. I'm guessing this means he has like a, a queen nine eight or something. Anyway, we are okay with him doing whatever he wants. Maybe he had ace queen. I don't even know. Um, I'm thinking about unblocking in clubs. That would be a mistake though, because we don't know what's going on in the club suit. And it seems like he probably has short clubs for his switch. Yep, he does. All right, so he has five clubs. And he pitched a heart. I don't know why you would pitch a heart. Our natural shift was a heart at this point. Uh, okay, so he's playing on club, so he presumably has an entry, which means he probably has the ace of hearts, given her hand. Um, I'm thinking about switching to a spade at this point. That's a little dangerous. The diamond is also dangerous. Heart's something that he probably has to play himself anyway. Everything is a little dangerous. Uh, my reaction was to play a spade. I don't think there's a playing of clubs out of the question because we think he has the ace of hearts and he's trying to set him up. So I think a spade is okay whenever our partner has the jack of spades. But if we play low and he has jack fourth and he has ten third, this could present a problem. Because we're kind of giving him the spades. We're kind of giving him the spades for three tricks when he couldn't do it normally. And we would always have to do that if we played a spade, because the queen is not, not really any better. A diamond could be disastrous, though. So we'll, so we'll try a spade. Hope he puts up the ice. Uh, okay. Looks like we did okay. All right. Okay, that's it. So it looked like that was the best defense for our side. And I was kind of right about the heart situation, that he had queen 9-8. But once he pitched one, I guess he needed he thought he needed to hold on to both of these. Pretty reasonable to think that. Um, so let's just go over our bad board. I don't really think there's anything we could do about this. Um, again, it's just a good point. Like Even though this is a good hand and you hear your partner with two clubs, having zero points in your partner's suits is pretty awful. Um, so I would have, um, tried to go a little low on this hand, but Gibbs algorithm probably, I mean, their tendency would be to just evaluate this hand they, and think, okay, I have, I have a nine count with a five card suit and my partner opened two clubs. So we have a slam and you know what? 90% of the time, that's pretty valid reasoning. So I don't really blame them so much here. Um, and in fact, six, no, I mean, it was okay. He caught pretty much one of the worst hands possible, and it still wasn't zero play at all. So I, I don't hate it. The rest of it, we just sort of played normal bridge. On this hand, I think we definitely could have made two by guessing the heart position. That might have been a small mistake. 